Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not our church at all, but it is His and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries from Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilam Somi. What is happening? When you told me to stand up, my feet were numb. Okay, Take your hand and so place it in your belly button. Stand in front. Thank you. Yeah, right there. Place your hand. Now, what is going to happen? now we are attacking the headquarters. Headquarters like Where those ancestral the Kunyaga Zonkelinda Wengi Bali Lingondo spinal cord in in Agakozo Limala. Yeah. Tintega Zonkel is in down this. All these things that have accounted for specialized upon Abbe Bambila window. Where they attack you, they hold you in those places like in your mind, in your spinal cord, and in your belly. When you have the spirit of uh, sorcery, you are flexible. Everything that is in your body moves or shakes. They can make you to dance. As if you are on drugs. It is where they are recharging their power. You see, there are things that are moving. What is happening? Huh? I'm teaching you. Carnation Institute. It's a Carnation Institute. What is happening? 
the voices when they speak they are whistling I used to go with my mom when she was a sister, when I was young. Sometimes there was a man who used to blow a whistle and when you delivered me it like I could hear in my ear. It was on my right side here. Even when I was young, I used When there is a person who visits my mom having that spirit, I could interpret the whistle. you able to interpret the whistle? Interpret. No, I couldn't. Because my mom is not operating so on it. Do you know that she was going to train you on that side? So I don't know when to train or produce um, sorcerers here. My Jesus. Little Baba Likwela. This whistle. Ngalelo langalo Baba. When 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 I'll shine the beniam go to gang set to the work. The man was not blowing it in my ear, but I was next to him. But he possessed something that he identified. Then I could identify if a sorcerer consult using uh, these whistle voices. It was activated only once. But it's still active. Why we need to activate things always? That is why I'm here to help you. Activate your shadow. Always activate. Why? No, no, no. What is happening now? I don't feel pain in my body. And I see Jesus taking me by his hand and taking me back. Where my mom was so powerful in this sorcery ministry. Her first trainee was a boy. My mom was working at that time. And I used to stay with him. This ancestral spirit was activated and powerful so that it will activate things. And Mama Ngibuela Konosugula. While they are in the same uh, kingdom, they are not in line with the witches. The brother was like a sibling. I used to play a drum. I was the one who was telling him what to do. So when I was in uh, then how do you know that it was time to dance? I don't know how. Every time, my When my mom would come back from work, she will tell us that you're supposed to dance. <laughs> 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 that, yeah, and that brother was possessed <laughs> by the granny ancestral spirits. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Angel. But, but my mom is possessed by the grandpa ancestral spirits. So loko kunga zwani kwa kwa bona ezango mani abatagat abatagat ayunji. For the ancestral and witches are not to get along. One day wakita wakita uputi. One day the the brother dance. Why nge nge sponge windi ni eyo kipa imfeni. Eyo kipa. Imfeni ka. One day he hit the window to take out the babon. And Baba, Ujesu and Kombisuti, why a man dami is Willamel Alguazu Sevens a lapo, Ginga was with Sevens a manji. Gankulumis will lot on my Kelly a cook. Jesus is showing me why my word is not working no, now, no, but no. I used to work it. Um, no, when I used to say, you are not going anywhere, you are not coming out of this house, then they will obey me. How old were you? 97. I was 8 years. Eight years. Mm. Okay. Just imagine she used to tell the ancestral spirits that you are not going to do it. But <laughs> in such a way that there was going to be of the ceremony but she couldn't go. Oh. It was, the first uh, ancestral or sorcery trainee is very important. So, Baba, Nakona, why a man like a sick bone in a batagat? Why a bone a young kinto? Why a bone a young kinto? Why a king dying a bone? Even Gukona. Umuntu o ngoba ba 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 to tell you the truth, in the kingdom of darkness, a person who has a gift is respected, but here in faith, you take a life the person of a gift. While she was eight years, she was being respected like an old person. Because she was being possessed by the ancestors. You need to respect people who are in leadership and in authority. That's a thing that hinders a prosperity of brethren. It's all about in the kingdom of darkness. They respect the child. I was just passing So, Baba, Nakona, Laisa Siakona, we were about to go. We went with my, fr my mother's friend who didn't know this trainee. So, Nakona, Baba, Wafia Wabakona, and Jay, a commotion because Wafia Wabona Yung in Tokon. There was a commotion because he could see everything. Then he wanted to come out. Eolanda. There was a skin that he, he wanted to bring back from the one who took it. So Nakona Babuchesu begatin kumbi suguti ngangwazu u kuluma sebe shi sile in pepo inga bala lady minanga ngangwazu kuluma sexual land the umanu matatwe kutugiso and waye lua enga fu engezwa lose ngangwazu kuluma in teotwa. 
Jesus was showing me when I used my word to speak things and it will take place. So baba, na na seka abengi yengi kulume izwi. Even at home, I would speak your word. Men kulume izwi begliwa nam. And they would fight against me. Even if they did not hear me speaking. Who were fighting me? my brother is the only one who didn't fight me and then the opportunity with my mother, she find every opportunity to clash with me. Baba, sometimes gisho gikuluma sizo kabani gisho mtuli sizo kabani luguti mtuli. Okay, loka te kumbisa kono chese ebe kumbisa lan loka kumbisa kona kleshi sepek. Why Jesus is showing you that? Ube wate en kumbisa baba luguti. Manje ngiazu luguti zila kelia sebenza. He's showing me right now that his, work, his, work, his word is working. But I don't believe in my words like I used to before. But he tells me that his word is working. If I speak his work, his word, I will know that it works. Even now, my word has that power. I must believe. Mina, because I used to believe in my words before. Okay. Take your, take your right hand and put it on top of your head. Say, I receive my deliverance completely. Say, from the top of my head kuze kube semathweni onyawo lwami intando yami ingqondo yam mkokodla wam nesisu sam ngikhululekile manje intando yam ingqondo yam umkokodla wam nesisu sam ngikhululekile manje my will my backbone my stomach is freely completely free I'm exiting the muddy place. I'm exiting the muddy place. I exit from the thrones, I exit from the waters, I exit from the sea. I'm coming out from wherever that I've been put it into and where that I, where I have entered into ngicisha negama lami kuzo zonke lezo indawo ngicisha ngegazi lika Jesus ngicisha negama lami kuzo zonke lezo indawo ngicisha ngegazi lika Jesus i'm erasing my name from those places with the blood of Jesus nase indawone iphezulu emkhathini ngiyaphuma ngiyicisha negama lami even in the highest places in the firmament, I'm erasing my name and I'm coming out. I belong to Jesus completely. I am for Jesus with my spirit. 
I belong to Jesus with my mind. I belong to Jesus with my backbone. I belong to Jesus with my belly. With everything. Singing Oga Jesus, Nanga Masenses Am. Singing Oga Jesus, Nanga Masenses Am. I belong to Jesus with my senses. Queens and gentlemen, what is happening now? I feel light. Thank you, Dad. Okay, it's great, right? What's happening? Are you crying? Mm. I feel the new breeze. I feel the new taste in my tongue. confidence I want to bring back your confidence. Okay. I want you to look at them. We will go to the crannies that are down there in the audience. Right? I will tell you what to say. In Jesus' name, the one who delivered me from the spirit that has been possessing me. Even you that are possessed with that spirit now, spirit of ancestors, ancestral spirit, spirit of the weasels, spirit of the waters, spirit of the winds, Right now, get out from them in Jesus' name. Get out from them. I have been delivered from you. I deliver them from you. Right now, in Jesus' name. As she uttering these words, these words are delivering people. As you can, as you can hear, people are coughing. Some are burping. Some are yawning. So, you're not delivering. That is the delivering process. 
We don't talk too much. We do not talk too much. We send the word and it does the work. Right now they are being delivered. It doesn't need to scream. The secret is with the words that we speak. Yeah, the words that we speak. The words that we speak, they go to the corners of the world and unlock people that are being captured. Even if they are in the firmament or deep in the sea or in the bushes or in the people's houses, we take them out because today the spirit is conquered from her and to everybody that is this Amandis now the power that we have that we are given is for delivering do you know what you do you know that people are possessed with the spirit of being a drunkard? Some are living promiscuously, continuously. It's because of that spirit. Some are like to fight. Some are talkative. It's the very same spirit. It's the very same spirit. So deep. Sons and daughters of Zion, receive your deliverance. Now. Sons and daughters of Zion, receive your healing right now. Sons and daughters of Zion, receive your breakthrough from this kind of spirit. Sons and daughters of Zion, spread your wings like eagles and fly above the storms and circumstances. Sons and daughters of Zion receive your money, your finances, your job, your business, your position right now in the name of Jesus. Sons and daughters of Zion, your healing is your portion. Your breakthrough is your portion. Your joy, peace and happiness is your portion. Madotana na matotaga se sesioni impumele lo yenu ingenye yenu ukululwa kwenu kuyingenye yenu Shine Kazimulani Shine Kazimulani Arise Pagamani Arise Pagamani Fly Ndizani Fly Ndizani Flow Keleza Flow Kelezan So Ndwezani so Ndweza Eagles Mzingozi Fly Ndizani Eagles Mzingozi So Ndwezani You are called to so Nibizelu kundwezi It is easy Gulula 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 are you receiving this? Are you getting this? Hallelujah. It's your time. It's your time. It's your season. It's Fly. It is the time to speak your freedom. All your desires. Some are desiring for business, marriages, business. The joy. Speak it now. The power is with your tongue. Start now. Speak. Speak all these things. Call them. 
Call it, call it, call it. This is your time. The spirit has been conquered today. Something is happening. Something is happening. All these things that have been holding you back, it's conquered today. Something is happening in the spirit. Something is happening in the spirit. Something is happening in the spirit. All things that were shattered by the spirit of ancestors, they are, they are un unlocked right now. They are free from. They are broken down. They have been cut down. They have been cut down. Hey, all strongholds are broken down. 